Hi, my lovely people. Y'all, we got a late start to this week. Yeah, because we had a holiday, but we got to get on into it. We got to get a lot of content out. It's a lot of things going on, so we're going to play catch up, okay? But first, you know, anytime you talk about the Jacksons of Atlanta, baby, you better have a disclaimer out here. You better have something going on. So under Section 107, Fair Use Act, I am using this for education, though, teaching, uh, reaction purposes only, whatever you want to use it for, okay? News reporting, yada, yada, yada. Freedom of speech, baby, is my opinion and my opinion only. Now, let's kick it off right. Baby, what's wrong with these folks? What is wrong with these folks? I mean, are they just obsessed with pregnancy, death, pregnancy, death, pregnancy, death? Like, as soon as they get pregnant, then it's the first thing they want to throw out is death. Like, what? Okay. Okay, so let's get on into it, okay? They drop an hour-long video, an hour-long video saying we lost our baby, okay? Now, when I first read it, I seen that she was in the hospital and things of that nature. You see the thumbnail. But, baby, I thought they was going to switch it and say, you know, hey, we lost one of the twins at Myers or Walmart or something because every single thing that she was going through, nothing even warranted to say that we lost our baby. Even as the days go on, because I'm like, they got to drop a part two, right? Because it say to be continued. Even when they dropped that, honey, it was nothing about losing no baby. What is wrong with these two? Like, if their subscribers are not catching on to the fact that they are repeat offenders, pregnant death, pregnant death, pregnant death. I mean, how many times are we going to go through this? But some of y'all are seeing through it, okay? Like this right here. Made me unsubscribe. This video was very distasteful. Oh, my Lord, was it distasteful? I couldn't even sit there for that hour and watch all of that crap. Ooh, ouch, ooh, ouch. Girl, you knew you had a gallbladder problem. You knew that the doctor told you from getting pregnant back to back to back that you may have a heart problem, which y'all played that like a fiddle. Mahogany's heart. I mean, get out the little violin, okay? And how about this one? It's sad. To say y'all lost a baby for views when it's truly a gallbladder. But whatever, hope you feel better. I mean, Hot Girl Chronicles. My thing is, too, is like, whatever. At this point, she knew that the baby was nowhere in danger, right? You knew nobody had any danger going on. Especially, especially, okay, when you went to the hospital the second time without your husband. He was just so busy, he couldn't be there. You knew you were just in pain. You knew your gallbladder was acting up. You knew something wasn't right. But they had already told you, hey, honey, you have all these, you know, stones going on in your bladder. That's what's causing you the pain. But, honey, you were sitting up there eating muffins and cakes and food and laughing and giggling and this and that. So at no point did it ever look like at any point that there was going to be anything wrong with your baby. No, you just wanted to spin it to make money off of it. Y'all, sometimes you got to call a spade a spade. These two right here, they really need to be off. They need to really get out of here because if people can't see that they have some kind of obsession with pregnancy. Pregnancy makes you money or something. They have an obsession so bad with pregnancy that the mother won't even take time to heal her body. The mother has twins. She won't even take time to breastfeed her babies, to let her body heal, to bond with her children before she's trying to get in vitro fertilized and get back out here on the street to say that I'm pregnant again. This woman would rather sit in agony and pain and swelling and everything else Rather than just let your body heal, spend time, and bond with your kids. Something is not right. I don't get this. I mean, to say that you continuously lost a baby, okay? When the first time y'all got on here saying we had a set of twins, and yet no proof has ever been dropped that y'all were ever pregnant with twins. Y'all were exposed for using the same ultrasound picture with your second set of twins that came from your first set of twins. You never produced a funeral because you claimed that the baby, the you know, the second twin had had some complications during delivery, which that means you had a full-term baby that you should have popped out and that you should have had, you know, a funeral or a ceremony you would have gotten a death certificate for. You have not produced any of it. All you have done was got pregnant over and over and over and continue with the same storyline. This has got to stop. Now, this um, comment here by, you know, Reverend uh, Dr. G, I'm going to sum it up. It says, you know, it's very, very sad that y'all have to keep describing any kind of ache or any kind of pain of, you know, during pregnancy as losing your baby is very distasteful. You know, it's saying that life is precious and 
You know, I sit here and I look at the women in the comments and I have to think this. All of us mainly are mothers, right? That's why we watch this stuff. Most of us are mothers. Some of us are grandmothers. And if you've ever had someone who is pregnant in your life that has lost a baby and it was, you know, something true and something that was, you know, very, very sad. Or if you have ever had someone who struggled to get pregnant or struggled through their pregnancy, then watching this couple should instantly trigger in your mind money, 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 view, 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 view. Oh, entertainment purposes only. Sorry, y'all, my air fryer was going off. But anywho, anywho, yes, um, if you've been through any of that, then this should tell you that this is not a channel that, you know, you want to see. This is all fake news. This is just craziness. I mean, did you guys see her face when they were putting her on the ambulance? I mean, she was making faces so that, to me, Justin, okay, could get a good uh, thumbnail. And he sure made sure that he got out here and put this thumbnail up here. They put a crying emoji. They put a heartbroken emoji. Moji sheets. They get me so mad. I get tongue tied. They put all this stuff out here only for this woman to go to the hospital, get some morphine, sit, eat muffins, drink coffee and have a good time. If y'all go back and y'all watch the video very closely and listen, I, like I said, I ain't watching the whole hour. So I skimmed through. But the second time she went to the hospital and they said, well, hey, we're going to give you some morphine. We, they gave her an ultrasound. They said her gallbladder is full of stones. They um, said that they were going to give her some morphine. She talking about, well, what about the baby? The doctor clearly states that the baby is a-okay. There is nothing wrong with the baby. Um, it might get a little bit of sleepy, you know, because of the morphine. But other than that, you are perfectly fine. It said the heartbeat was strong and there's nothing for you to worry about. They had her plugged up to a um, monitor around her stomach. They let her know once again, everything looks very good. Everything looks very strong. So for you to continue with this really makes me just really uh, want to be sick and say that you guys are um, obsessed with death or something of that nature. You guys are obsessed with something because it's really crazy. Now, I want you guys to go take a look and let me know what you guys think because to me, this is just God awful and they really need to quit. This is this is too much. So I will see you guys down in the comments below. I can't wait to see what you have to say.